back. We're, We're back. back. Wait, Woo. let's wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. What? Oh, it's for people to. Oh, I'm, tr- I'm I'm trying to pull it up. <laughs> yeah, I pull it up. It, it's good. Why is it? It's not saying you're live. It should be now. Oh, there we go. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, Um, sorry, I'm just gonna rearrange stuff on my desktop. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my first trial. Yeah! Oh, I said case trial. I'm a dumbass. Class trial. <laughs> I didn't, I thought you said class trial, so there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna change that. Oh, you, oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Our first case trial. <laughs> oh baby. You know I heard that. Or saw that. You ready? We're going into the pre-trial prep. Do it. Pre-case trial. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Go back to the up. <laughs> back to a time when Viakio was alive. Aww. Oh, sad. Oh yeah, spoilers! Wow. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> They're gonna find out in the next five minutes anyway. True. Let me um let people know. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, so we are one person short today. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, we don't have Victruvius with us today because he's got, uh, he has to get up early so he won't be able to stream with us, but that's okay. Um, he already knows what's going to happen because he's, he's played the game before with me. So, um, and there's, yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. <laughs> we, we'll, we, we can handle it on our own. We're, yes. we're grown-ups. And to remind everyone, I am Sakaki619. And, and I am also Sakaki619. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is Vitamin K. Yes, I am Vitamin K. Okay. Vitamin K Swiss. Uh oh, copyright. <laughs> Vitamin K. Sadia. <laughs> what? Wait, is this right? Chapter 1. Oh, yeah, Chapter 1. Yeah, pre chop. Alright. Oh, it's the music. I know. So good. Uh, so this is a good place to review everything, right? Yeah. Go ahead and uh, open the handbook and review what you need to review. How about the skills? Can we do anything yet? Um, yeah, I don't think you bought any skills yet. Wow. You want to look at the skills right now? I just got something. I got a follow from Sino65. Ooh, thank you for the follow. Thank you, Sino65, for the follow. I like your username. In a region, mate. I assume. <laughs> Two plus. This is very important. Oh, that music, the build up. Oh, I love you too, Sinos. Bye. You're gonna have to tell me who you are later. <laughs> <laughs> if I actually know you, know you. Pretty sure. Are you Tommy? Just, just the same. Hmm. The victim's wanderer was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel mirror. Oh yeah, I got it. So Tommy, like your username. The estimated time of death is 11:30 p.m. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and abdominal region, resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries and no chemicals such as poison were detected. See, it doesn't say what he was stabbed by, so that's a very key factor in this investigation yeah, really and this trial. Um, aside from that, the body has no other external injuries and no chemicals were detected. The body under the table is face down, as if Byakuya were reaching for something. Now that's another key. Um, my suspicion is that... He was not dragged, as we did, not, we did not see any blood on the floor. 
And he was under the table when he was killed for sure. Um, and my suspicion is that he was stabbed by something from underneath the floor. Um, but we don't know by what he is, he is stabbed by because it might because that knife under the table there looks to be attached to the table. So here we'll learn a little bit more about it. A bloodstained knife found under the oh it's bloodstained though. That is actually important to know. Bloodstained knife found under the table when a body was discovered. A glowing paint-like substance coats it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I do remember. I do remember you saying last time that um, the knife couldn't be the murder weapon because there was no blood on it. Yeah, so uh, there is blood on it. So there is blood. So that defeats kind of my idea. Let me see how big eight millimeters is, because that's what she said. The knife. Eight millimeters is really small. Is something I can compare it to? Wow, 8mm is like half the width of my finger. Hmm. You have long fingers. No, no, no. <laughs> like, you know, width. With oh, width. Oh, oh, oh. Half? Wait, 8 Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at a picture. I was gonna say, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I thought I was thinking centimeters. I think I was like, "What?" <laughs> oh, I could just do E. All right, next thing: blood stain under the table. Right. So a pool of blood formed around the body underneath the table. A lot of blood was splattered against the inside of the tablecloth. So inside of the tablecloth. That's weird. How is that possible? Inside of the tablecloth when he was stabbed? Because if he was facing down and stabbed. It wouldn't really splatter on the tablecloth inside, right? Hmm. Also, there was no sign that the body was dragged through the bloodstain. Through the bloodstain? What does that mean? Oh, through the bloodstain under the table, right? Yeah. That's so weird. So many questions. Gaps in the floorboard is a truth bullet. Floors of the dining hall were full of gaps. Venom dropped one of his earrings through these gaps. Yep. And he was able to retrieve it um, using some tool, right? Or, yeah. No, they we don't, no, they never said how he got it back. Oh. Ah, but you know. Wait, that's interesting. Yeah, you're right. But the restroom did open up later on. And he got it before we joined everyone before the trial. I still believe that restroom is a big, big, big clue to this. Hmm. The AC timer in the dining hall was set to 11.30 p.m. The AC timer in the office was also set to 11.30 p.m. So clearly this is how they are able to do the um, power outage. Night vision goggles found under the table the body was discovered. Apparently it came from the supermarket. Was he wearing the night goggles? I believe so because he noticed something when it was dark. So he must have been able to notice something. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the next one is very classic. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and when I was thinking about this too, I was like wondering if there was a hint in this picture itself. Mm, but I don't know. This is the greatest truth bullet. <laughs> During the blackout, Mika tripped and fell in the dining hall. By the time the lights came back on, she ended up in a compromising position. So we basically heard her yell and then fall. But before that, she didn't say anything. I mean, she's very clumsy too, which would, I mean, it could be that she's making us think she's clumsy, or it could be that she's just really clumsy, but it seems like by her character, I mean, but but knowing this game, you don't know what the true character of these characters are, <laughs> is, so yeah, you can't really assume anything. Uh, anyway, sausage, bottle, I'm gonna look at the picture later and see where those, those foods are, maybe that'll give a hint. Dear Lemon Case, the case, in my opinion, I think the night goggles are in the case. The one where he, the, the case, there are two cases, one for the weapons and one that he said he never mentioned what was inside it. The mm. case Byakuya had with them. There's a lot of security equipment inside and a hard plastic case as well. The key to the other Dear Lemon Case is inside here, is inside here too. Uh. Hmm? Oh, you're just thinking? Yeah, I'm just thinking. My bad, my bad. So, I'm just <laughs> thinking about 
Was this the one with all the weapons, or was it the one that was no. being guarded in the? That was another this one being guarded. This right? is the this is the one that Biakia had. Okay, so it says security equipment. That's interesting. Can I click for more? No, there's no more details. A hard plastic case. Right, right. The shape of that plastic case looked like goggles. Awesome. Okay. Um. Then this is very important. What happened during the blackout? So uh, my hero. It's a blackout! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> it's pitch black, I think it's pitch black. Clearly, she can't see anything. No one can see anything. Mahiru is trying to calm down the situation. Interesting though that Mahiru starts it with It's a Blackout. Hmm. I mean, it's all. it might be obvious that it's a blackout, but still. She says two things in this. Everyone calm down. And well first it's a blackout. Second, everyone calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. It looks like I mean either she's trying to put her front and trying to like make sure everyone's calmed down, or maybe she's if she was the murderer, she could actually have been oh, hi Phil. Phil H F. <laughs> um Welcome. What if Mahiru was actually the murderer, and what if she was trying to pretend that, like, she was trying to calm down the situation and everything? So that is possible, because everyone else here is freaking out besides her, and Byakuya, of course. Well, Byak even Byakuya is freaking out. <laughs> Yoko says, "Don't step on my feet." Right after Mahiru says that. I need to see Hyoka's position compared to Mahiru. Byakuya says, what the hell is going on here? This is... So obviously he sees something, and he has the goggles. I would be able to assume he can see stuff. Nagito also gets hurt. Akane... Just cares about food. Um, Teru Teru came from the kitchen. He was crawling around the walls, near the walls. It's possible, that's for sure. Sonia... As Pretty smart, she's pretty observant of the breaker actually. Uh, that it might overload. And then last thing was Kazuichi, who said he'll go and do something about it. Interesting. Oh. But then it immediately turned on after he said that, and then we saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which could have happened because Kazuichi was moving, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? There were three irons. In my opinion, that is used to do the breakout, or not breakout, the blackout. This is a huge mystery to me. <laughs> <laughs> a bloodstained tablecloth was found randomly stuck inside the laundry hanger. Ah! What if it was already pre- Ah, if there was one here, then this one could also be placed over this table to make it look like he was... I don't know what they're trying to do, but maybe it was placed there. Okay. So that would still kind of... Um, so the stabbing underneath the, the floor would still work out. Because it doesn't need to... It like Stabbing under the floor, I feel like, will not like cause any splattering in the tablecloth. Mm. Uh, gas stove in the kitchen is powered by electricity. That's why I kept the use it didn't block out. What? That, that's an interesting information. Huh. I wonder why that's a truth word, actually. I don't know yet. Go back? Um... Okay. Uh, I really don't know why this is a... I mean, it's his account, I guess, so that means it's... Like, his alibi, I guess? Because he was I, in I, the I, room, right? I, I'm trying to remember why that came up. I don't remember. I think it's because he was in the kitchen during that time, so we don't have really any... Mm -hmm. I don't know. This has that's very interesting. Oh, electricity. So basically, nothing could be used. No electricity could be used mm. at all, maybe. Or maybe it's connected to the storage room, which is where the irons are connected. I legit don't remember. <laughs> okay, same. He poured his heart and soul into cooking various party dishes. However, Akane and Peko were the only ones who ate them. Wait a minute, Byakuya was too, but of course he's dead. But <laughs> we know that Peko had a stomach ache. For sure. 
Huh. Why does she have a stomach ache? And I kind of, I don't think she had, she was gone for a while too, actually. We didn't see her for a while, I think. Later on. Hmm. The fire breaks out. The fire door in the hallway of the old building can be shut to keep the fire from spreading. This is such a weird truth bullet. I know. And I found out the crime scene was not included on the kitchen's equipment list, so it's something outside. All the dangerous equipment that could be put, a potential weapon was confiscated by the uncle. Apparently there's an iron plate for barbecue and a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Portable stove for cooking hot pots. Again with the stove. Yeah, this is so crazy. And Shaki was standing guard outside. Fuyuko apparently came to the old building and walked away. A 13. All right, the letter. I forgot about this. A 13 yep. letter that was found in Sabiakia's room. Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. And as far as we know, we don't know handwriting, so we can't like determine who wrote this. Yeah. It's type. <laughs> I know. That's what I said too. I was <laughs> like, this looks type. <laughs> I feel like the scritchy scratchy kind of writing looks like this guy's writing though. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he would write that. Yeah. Look at his face! <laughs> Being this Mr. Giyaki after the blackout. Hazuki headed straight to the office. He didn't see anyone there, including Pekka. Mm. According to Migata Topsy, Autopsy. Miyake has sustained several puncture, wound, puncture wounds to his chest and abdomen. The wounds were inflicted by a th Oh, five millimeters! Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Not eight. The wounds were inflicted by a thin, sharp weapon roughly five millimeter in diameter. Is it? Okay. He could have been trying to go for the knife, but then someone already took it and stabbed him with it. That's mm. awesome. Nekamoto kept trying to use the bathroom since before the party started, but someone was using it the whole time. He was able to enter the bathroom after Byakuya's body was discovered. So, that's not a coincidence. And that's all! Oh, oh my goodness, what are we in for? Um, go to your report card. Yeah. And then go to, uh, Monami. Oh. So this is where you can buy them. I have a 19. Oh my god, there's so many things. It doesn't even tell um, me what they do. Yeah, not yet. If I were to recommend one skill that you absolutely should buy, that mm -hmm. will make the game way easier <laughs> mm -hmm. as a whole, uh, go up. Uh, is it neural Click Neural Liberation? Uh, no. Well, that's also good, but uh, go, go. Mm -hmm. Uh, hmm. Charisma? No. No? No. Where is it? It's in there somewhere. Oh, wait, out, wait, check uh, algorithm. Or delusion, check delusion. Delusion. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, delusion and neural liberation. So this one? Those two, those two combined make the game much easier. <laughs> so what does it do? It, recover, it recovers the influence gauge over time during concentration and fever time. Yeah, so when you're doing the concentration, your health will increase. Your health will recover. Oh, in case you mess up or something? Yeah, or like, you know, it, but it literally works whenever. Like whenever you're concentrating, so even if you don't, you don't need to concentrate, you could use it just to recover health. Wait, concentration is when you slow down the thing. Yeah, it's when you slow down everything. So you don't necessarily need neural liberation, but it will. I would, I actually would say it would give you like almost infinite health. <laughs> That's pretty nice. That's crazy. If if you're if you have serious doubts about your ability to do the mini games, then I would recommend those two. Okay, might as well. It's available. And then you can save your hope fragments for now if you want. You won't you won't need anything else for this first trial. Hmm. This looks candy. Ah bathroom? Nikon likes the bathroom. That's right. But she was in there the whole time though. <laughs> yeah. 
have found an open spot on the floor to come from the bathroom? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but... Squish, squish. Squish, squish. Cult Japan. We never really heard her talk about cult stuff. That's actually interesting. Fried dough cookies. Milk so simple. <laughs> That's why he's short! <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Lazy people. Especially washed towel. Mama! <laughs> it's my birthday. That's funny. Do you like mama and just like junk food? He has my birthday. <laughs> Dark Davis of Destruction. Aw, dead. Sad. Yeah. <laughs> My sweet prince! <laughs> wow, he likes pretty, pretty things. He doesn't like snowy places. Does that mean I'm a pretty person? <laughs> <laughs> so much. I don't even know what so much is. So much. So means, it means like smelly or something. That's weird. Smelly much. Alright. Well, we're gonna go win this, whether we like it or not. Oh, I haven't checked this in a while. Okay. It's fine. It, it won't, uh, it won't, nothing will happen to it while you're in the trial. We're gonna go in. Change the oh, baby. Easy. I'm just kidding. Oh, set skills, right? Oh, yeah, you have to equip them. <laughs> That's important. How do I do that? Set skills. You have to scroll. Oh, okay. Now I should save. You guys ready? I'm gonna go ham. Oh baby. <sighs> I'm gonna go right into it. I'm not ready, but we're gonna have to do it. Proceed! Wait, I just got a message on Twitch. Oh. Yep, we're gonna do it! Let's go, Sinal. Let's go, Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot! Now then, let's begin oh, with a simple voiced. explanation yep, of the goodness. class trial! If you want, you can put- uh, what I do is I put <laughs> it on auto, but it does go a little bit slower on auto when you're going- when it goes from line to line, so if you want to have more control over when it does it, then you can just click. Nah, That's I'll just leave it. But look at one of me though. <laughs> I know. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who so the fat. killer is, and vote for who done it! <laughs> if you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, mm. I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that Yikes. person will earn the right to leave this island. Yikes. Such a cruel rule. <laughs> Before we begin, <laughs> I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Oh damn, Nagi bro asking the right question. Most definitely! <laughs> There's no mm. doubt that the blackened is lurking among you! Look, he's flat. Such a sad <laughs> state of affairs, isn't it? <laughs> By the way, this class trial is gonna be 100% fair! Butt. So there's no need to worry! I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Well, <laughs> not as much as I hate Monami, of course. <laughs> you hate me that oh. much. <laughs> Wait, look, look. What? She's got mushrooms on her head. <laughs> yeah, whenever she's sad, she always has mushrooms. Now, let's begin. <laughs> sad. So You're telling us to begin, but what are we supposed to do? Oh. No complaining. Let's just settle this with our fists. <laughs> as usual. <laughs> Kind of Were you rules. even listening to the rules? Oh, that's his voice. Didn't that Biakuya bastard get killed in the dining hall? I kinda like huh? Victor's voice. <laughs> Did everyone there is a fucking <laughs> suspect? <laughs> why you gotta... Wait a minute, Fico. Why are you bringing this up in the first place already? You're already making yourself suspicious. Yeah, yeah. What you're really trying to say is that See? you're not the killer, right? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Victuvius! Settle it with our fists! <laughs> no shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has uh, nothing to do with me. He's trying to get off the hook already, but okay. Huh? What does that mean? <laughs> anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Jeez. 
<laughs> most pressing issue on our minds. It's probably just on his mind. Huh. <laughs> most pressing issue on our minds. Oh my mind? god, I was gonna say something stupid. Where we oh. found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't see the That's picture. I should have seen the picture. Me. But we couldn't see it. It wasn't a truth bullet, no. Yeah, that's weird. That should have been a truth yeah. bullet. Right? That's what I said. Stupid. Anyways, all we know is that Byakuya was on one side and then he ended up on the other. That kind of thing. But then who was next to him? I think Mikan was next to him? Or who else? No, Mikan was at the table. At one of the tables. Ah, oh, it's so hard to remember. Oh, I say this. The reason why Byakuya's body was discovered under the dining hall table, and then I, I'm, I have to press something, right? We can start with that, but ultimately we need to find out who murdered him. If we can't do that... No, thinking about if is a waste of time. We have to do this, no matter what. Ooh. So the class trail has finally started. <laughs> From this point on, I'll provide simple tutorials at every important moment. <laughs> I'm sorry, but please excuse my ear tainting rudeness. Aww. Wow. As things progress during each class trial, you will engage in a number of non stop debates. During these discussions, all of your classmates will speak one after the other without any breaks. It's up to you to reveal any lies or mistakes contained within their statements. This means you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Out of all the truth bullets you find during your investigation, only the relevant ones will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the mouse to move the reticle, then fire with the left mouse button. <laughs> I like how there's a dot dot dot. <laughs> it's like he's talking to the narrator. <laughs> right? <laughs> Pay close attention to each other's characters. Each character statements and choose your two bullets to blast the right ones. So can you shoot multiple bullets in the same... Well, we'll see. Like the same statement? No, I mean like... I mean, as soon as you shoot, then it's over, right? Through that like that part of when they're all talking. I mean, it's like a, it's like when you shoot a gun. It's yeah. like there's a bit of lag before you can fire the next shot <laughs> if you miss. Note that if you run out of time, you'll automatically fail. So please be careful. How do we um? Oh, I can press the escape key during these arguments. I can just do the controls. Yep. <laughs> Good luck in half a G L H F. Yep. Uh, how do you do concentration? I guess I'll check. I'll check uh, I don't know if you'll be able to do it yet. Oh, I can't check? Space. Wait. It should be space. So how do I go oh, between look. these? So I just uh, choose one of these? Wheel. I can do any yeah. of these? Yeah, you can change it when you're in the actual Oh game. shit. Is it you can still change Yaku it. You can still change it. Oh, right now? In a place like yeah. that. His body was underneath the table. Well, I can shoot to at any. Oh no, at the yellow stuff, right? The dining hall. Yeah, they'll be yellow, but it won't. Uh, it won't be the yellow. Yeah. Or... They probably moved the body there. Oh, this one, this one, this one. Ah, oh, I already missed huh? it. I'm so slow. Why? And you, That's um, fine. I usually like uh, letting it play the, the entire thing. They tried to delay the Sometimes there's funny dialogue, even if it's not relevant. <laughs> like a dog burying a bone. <laughs> Uh, wait a minute. Huh? What he just said was strange. It clearly contradicts the information I know. Yes, which is that uh, there was no blood stains on the floor. So Why I believe it's this one, the blood body? stain under the table. Let's In see if I'm not right like or if I'm wrong. <laughs> I feel like I'm space. Space. Oh, oh, it's space. Okay, so you can so. concentrate, yeah. But the the that, like, the takes some. Ball. Oh, it's this bar right here, right? Yeah, and After refills. the killer okay. murdered Byakuya. They probably moved like the body this. there. Oh, no, that's wrong. am I wrong? <laughs> Wait, is this good or bad? We'll see. That's good. No. Oh. I don't think the killer moved the body. So if it's wrong, it'll repeat, right? Yeah, you'll you'll know when it's wrong. It'll uh -huh. be obvious. Why? Try to remember what the body looked like when we found it under the table. Yeah, you hurt her. Though there was a lot of blood everywhere. There was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through it. Yeah. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. I see. I get your point. Uh. Oh. And here I thought I had a <laughs> genius idea. <laughs> what? Okay. Too bad you're so <laughs> stupid and boring Ooh. and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. He'll go for his character. <laughs> 
respond better to praise, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody responds better to praise. But if the killer didn't move the body, Fighting. why was it under the table? Yakuya was probably killed yep. under the table. Yep. What? You think he was killed under the table? <laughs> so Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown. And that's when he was killed. How do you know he snuck under, Nagito, huh? Can then, you see in the dark? Shortly thereafter, <laughs> he found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but yep. why did he go under the table? Yep. Obviously, he was hiding so he could surprise us. <laughs> Dude was always a big jokester. I guess yes. he could surprise us. I guess that's the one that's, way to think that's about it. it. We were solved really it. was? <laughs> you seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? I'm more one like confused at how no one heard him stomping. <laughs> I know. Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. He dove under the table. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. Oof. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he dive under the table. Very true. The reason why? is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, don't you think? Yep, weapons, taking weapons. The reason Byakuya dove under the table, if it's connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, then it's probably... Can I press this one? No. Can I do this one? Oh, there's time! Yeah. Oh crap! No, let's see. There's something else. Uh, knife? Knife? Knife. I'm gonna I'm gonna screw up and say knife. <laughs> Wait, what do I do? Just exit? You have to uh, right click. Oh. I can prove it with this. Subarashi! It probably has something <laughs> to do with the knife we found under the table. I'm so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, knife? I'm so cool, yeah. Oh! You mean that thing that obviously screams? I am the murder weapon! See that's the thing. It's <laughs> It obviously screams, but why would a killer make something obviously scream that? Yakuya probably noticed the knife was hidden there. Why would someone make that So in obvious? order to get it, he moved under the table. Unless... He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items, so I cannot deny that possibility. And exactly. And in my opinion, the tablecloth was raised up Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, I'm starting to see a picture of the setup. So the setup was a tablecloth was normal during the party. Then during the blackout, um, the tablecloth was raised up, and there was a blood stain already there. And the knife is glow in the dark because of the paint, the paint, right? Um, and then since the blood stain on the tablecloth was there, it would make it would be something that Yaku would be scared about, but also it would be like a setup for the death scene. Um, and that tablecloth was already in the storage room, so that he can, they could easily get that. Uh, because there are multiple of them. So, let's see. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Uh, yep, exactly. Then, instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Very true. Like, for example, he might have seen someone that, trying to take the knife out from under the table. That's interesting. That's possible, but yeah, I think no, actually. Oh, that's never mind. Not okay, Pickle, damn. What? You seem rather confident about that. That's true. Of course. I have proof what? to back me up. Huh? <laughs> this is almost like a real trial! What's up, Arter? Welcome. During the previous statement, there was only one weak spot. Weak spot. What was the weak spot? That. The knife was... Oh, right, 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 right. Like, how could he have seen the knife? From this point on, there will be various weak spots standing in your way. No matter how many weak spots there are, there will be only one lie or contradiction in the debate at a time. This means there will be false weak spots. I am so confused. <laughs> sure. Basically, it's... it's yeah, this, is why, this is why I'm here. This is... I'm here... Oh, right, to right, right. <laughs> okay, I, I kind of remember from the, the DR one, right? Like, if... if um, if there will be there will be multiple yellow statements. Right, and some of them are okay, right? Yeah, some of them are fine. There's only one that you have to shoot. Okay, okay. So anytime there's a yellow, it's considered a weak spot, but some of them are false weak spots. Yeah. Okay. So if you shoot a false weak spot, it's not good, because then you will fail to refute what was said, and you will lower your trust with everyone, and your influence gauge is basically your life, right? Will take damage. Reaches zero, you will fail. So please be extra careful. <laughs> oh, were you watching? 
Uh, Vitamin K. Yeah, he was he was in some he was in some of my streams. Oh, nice. uh, Ardor, try try very hard not to spoil anything, please. Please. <laughs> this is this is his first playthrough, so we don't want it. We want him to we want him to experience the despair like I did. <laughs> <laughs> you have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are actually lies in the Also, if you concentrate by holding down the space key, you can put it to argue this over. Please use it whenever you feel like the statements are moving too fast for you to aim. However, this does consume the focus gauge, so please be careful. If you press escape key, key during these arguments, you can review the controls. Brutes? Well then, good luck and have fun. Alright. I am gonna screw up. Oh my goodness, AC timer, night vision goggles. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be related to night vision goggles. I'm sure right Byakuya ducked under the table during the blackout. Correct. That sounds correct. I can agree with that. If that's the case, during the blackout, Mr. Ham Ham <laughs> must have seen the killer take the knife. But it was super pitch black! Oh, must have seen the killer take the knife. It was so dark I okay. couldn't see my food! Gotcha. Byakuya couldn't see in the dark either. Uh, okay, that my assumption is it's that I one. doubt he could have seen the killer. I think it's that one. Oh, and if you want to fast forward, you can hold, uh, hold control. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just go through it. It's fine. Yeah. It's true, getting under that table during the blackout would have been nearly impossible, but... But... I'm sure Byakuya ducked under well, the table. I'm so cool. The first true During bullet was correct. I'll just check everything just in case. That sounds correct. Beep. If that's the case. During the blackout, <laughs> Mr. Ham Hands <laughs> must have seen the killer take the knife. That's interesting. Take the knife. But it was super pitch black. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. Yep, both of them are that makes Yaku sense. I couldn't see in the dark either. No, that's Woo! Wrong. Woo! No, that's wrong. <laughs> I feel bad if someone said that no. to me. You're <laughs> <laughs> like, was able to see in the dark. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Why do you say that? Because he can see in the dark. He's a vampire, you know. He was using those night vision goggles we found under the table. He could have seen what was happening. Mm hmm So. Are you saying Byakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? That is true. We kind of assumed that when the culprit themselves could have used that. Or, it would make sense if the culprit actually put the glow in the dark paint so they can see where the knife is hmm. in the dark, which they set up. So that would actually make sense, more sense. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus. What? Oh, I do feel bad. <laughs> no, obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Mahiru, you getting suspicious? The other way around? I've already suspic uh, suspicioned you. <laughs> Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not the Akuya. Girl, chill. Your argument is totally invalid. <laughs> Were you surprised when Mahiru said an argument? Between you and me, I was also surprised. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, then, when this kind of argument surfaces, you will go into a one on one debate called, called Rebuttal Showdown. In this mode, you have to counter the other person's claim, draw out their weak spots, and argue against them. Please counter the other person's remarks with the WASD keys. Wasid. Based on the shape of the remarks, it's important to know whether to cut vertically, sideways, or diagonally. And based on that, you can skew the debate's mood to your advantage. Wow, I am so confused. So I can use the Guys, yeah, this, this confused the shit out of me when I first played it. So, look at it like this. Basically, when this happens, th this is, uh... Whenever you shoot your truth bullets and you're like, No, that's wrong. This is basically somebody doing the same to you. Right. Okay. That's pretty interesting. That wasn't in DR1, right? No, no, that's one. This is completely that. new mini That's game. pretty good. That's pretty good. Make it a true um, trial. So the way that this works is that um, there will be statements that kind of float across the screen, and you have to press the the WASD buttons um, to. Well, you, you basically you have a sword. <laughs> I have a sword. <laughs> sword. <laughs> yes, you have a sword. Epic. And you will press one of those four buttons to swing your sword in a certain direction, and you have to cut through. You have to literally cut through her statements. Is it like the opposite direction of the um, the statements, 
Or you want to try and go perpendicular. That's the best way to do it. Perpendicular? All right. Whatever that means. Okay, I see what you're saying. I got you. Yeah, got you. You'll 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 see it. It's fine if you it's fine if you fail a little bit in this first part. This is you have to, having to get used to it. You thought you sound like one of those cool characters, but when you listened from your mic, it wasn't exactly what you heard. Trust me, I know that feeling. You should hear me sing or play my trombone. God, <laughs> those were horrible. On the other hand, if you ignore the other person's remarks, it will skew toward their advantage. In the bottom right hand corner of your screen, a number that shows the sharpness of your counter is displayed. This is the number of times you can cut remarks during one round of the debate. Oh. One round of the debate. You will lose counts of sharpness even if you miss, so please be very careful. Yeah, you have a limited amount of swing. Well then, I mean, it's... There's enough to cut all the words at least, right? All the statements? The, yes, they, they okay. always give you enough to cut all the words, but some will be harder than others. Um, there will be, just like in the non-stop debates, there will be uh, one or two or three yellow statements in the second phase of the minigame that you have to cut with your truth blade. Oh my goodness. Combining yep. them now? Yep. Oh my god. When the mute skews to your advantage for a certain length of time, the other party's argument changes. This means the conversation will develop. <laughs> if that happens, they will end up divulging some mute spots. However, you cannot normally cut remarks that contain mute spots. Instead, it will skew the mute toward the other party's advantage. Plus, it's gonna be very big. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Just like a yeah, regular no. debate, please review any weak spots with the loud left the mouse button. Okay. Yeah, if you accidentally cut a yellow statement normally, then you'll lose a big. You, it'll you'll take a big hit. So you need to use the bullet to do it. You need to not the bullet, the blade. You have to use the uh. You have to use you have mean, the left click. Yeah, you have to actually use the. Truth okay, okay. WSB blade. is for the normal slicing, and then you gotta yeah. actually use the mouse for the truth stuff. Yes, for, for your the weak spots. Blade. For the weak spots. Yep. Of course, if you don't have the correct truth blade, you will not be able to cut an opponent's remark. Interesting. Huh? What's a truth blade? Oh, that's him saying that. Huh? What's a truth blade? <laughs> I am terribly sorry. It appears there has been a delay in contacting you. <laughs> I'll make sure the person in charge of contacting you takes a very long vacation. <laughs> what? Ooh. Ooh. Wait, is this a different guy? <laughs> in this mode, truth bullets will be called truth blades. Um, that's about it. <laughs> there won't be any other changes to your handbook menu. Hm. Nice, Arter. Nice. How'd you do? Only the name was changed, but... Wow, 17th place in 128 tourney? tourney? Wow, really good. But don't you think a change in feeling is important? If you press the escape button key during these arguments, you can reuse the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. Alright, we're gonna do it. The rebuttal showdown. Uh, this is this stuff, so, dear lemon case, irons in storage room, iron storage room, okay, knife. What is she gonna argue about? About my point that She said that the killer used Oh, use it the goggles, right? Alright, yeah. I'm gonna use this for now. If you just use common sense. If you just use common sense. The killer sense. obviously Perfect. used those night vision goggles. Wait, I'm supposed to cut these? That's yep. Be it. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> that was short, that's good. Tutorial. I can't advance forward if I'm just listening. I should let Mahiru say what she wants to say and then find a point that I can argue against. What? Did it did you do you that because I was stabbing? Sense. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. Did I mess up again? Oh, no. no. Where's your proof that the killer used them? Do I use this too? Oh no. No. Because they use night vision, then they could have killed Yakuya even in the dark. Wait, why is that red? In reality, that's some the some say those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Oh, oh, penis cracker. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> wait, no, I'm wrong. Wait, no, I'm right. I'm sure Bianca brought the night vision goggles. I need to review my hidden point. Because if they use night vision oh, goggles. So I was wrong right there, right? No, you were right. It's just you, there was another statement that was in the way. Oh, so, okay, so I just missed it. So, right here? No? Allow me to cut through those words. Yeah, the the, the right. line above it was in the way, but it moved out of the no, way at the last second. <laughs> was definitely the one who brought those night vision. Goggles. Does it need to cross the middle of the screen? 
That was it, weird. I mean, yeah, it basically, it has to be the only statement that's on the screen when you when you slash. So, okay, there was something in red or something. In, in, yeah, the, okay. the, the statement before that. So, some statements take more than one more than one slice to cut. Yeah, I gotcha. Oh, more than one slice. Oh, that's why. Yeah, okay. so that's what happened. So, you, you didn't completely slice that statement. Mm. Um, but, luckily for you, it moved out of the way when you actually used your truth blade. Interesting. All right. Excuse my language, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> but why? I will be more careful. <laughs> Inside the Duralumin case Byakuya had with him during the party. He found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Which means we can assume that the <laughs> night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumin case as well. I agree. Woohoo! I said assume! <laughs> Ibuki never uses such clever language. Oh my god. Plus, Byakuya was the Thanks, only girl. one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Look at all their faces. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. Precisely. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Then, was that knife inside the case too? Weak point. If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. Weak it point. It would be weird. Weak point. I am weird. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd rather be fantasizing about... <laughs> Tonight's main dish. This is why I was saying he's gonna say something weird before. Ew, <laughs> you totally mean that in a perverted oh my way. God. <laughs> it had to force her to say that. I feel bad. <laughs> the knife was brought in the dear lumen case along with the night vision goggles too. No, that's not possible. Because the knife was hidden in the dining hall before the party even started. I should be able to prove it. Haha, uh -huh, before it was started. The duck <laughs> tonight's main dish. <laughs> There was duct tape left under the table where the body was found. Huh? Duct tape? Huh? Duct tape? They probably hid the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the table. So no tori da. Oh! So that's why we found duct tape there. Mm -hmm. Though Viakuyo was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon Very taped true. to the underside of the table. I mean, look at that one skewer. This may be off oh, top. Actually, that's different. But why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Aha! Uh -huh, which is related to the note Not only now. did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case too. Mm-hmm. That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. Why are you sweating, he girl? probably knew. <laughs> Someone was planning to commit a murder. Are you saying he predicted <laughs> the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? Also in possession. You think so too, right, Hajime? You mean we know so. <laughs> That's right. Byakuya probably knew there was a possibility that a murder would occur. Embarrassing pose! I'm just kidding. <laughs> murder, though. In my opinion, this is it. I can prove it with this! I can improve it with this. Yeah, Everyone, his voice is great, but we all gotta be this? honest. Victorious's voice is better. For who? For for a Gundam. Oh, for Gundam. <laughs> Dang. It's a battle of the of the what's it called? <laughs> battle of the Overlord of Ice. <laughs> <laughs> the first kill happened tonight. Oh, what the hell is this? Ooh. How did <laughs> you found this in this cottage? <laughs> It looks like a threatening letter someone sent to him. You know, at this point, now we're kind of putting the suspicion on me and Nagito because they have to like believe us that we went to Byakuya's cottage. So who's we could have faked someone? it. Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. <laughs> Wasn't me. Ooh. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> the only lies I tell are friendly lies. What? <laughs> Doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, Yakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter? He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. What do you mean? <laughs> By gathering everyone in one place, mm -hmm. he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. Mm -hmm. In doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. But the letter might have been just a little prank. 
That is possible, but you cannot as take any chances. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. Yep. Why is that rope moving in the background? Is that connected to Monami? <laughs> yes. <laughs> a strong sense of responsibility made him believe the letter was legitimate. Ah, uh, you should have told us you received a threatening letter. Uh, if he had, we would have panicked. Yep. Yakuya probably knew that too. <laughs> Look at Ibuki. She's the only one not scared. <laughs> so he tried to I do something about it without telling anyone. I see. A strong sense of responsibility as a is his undoing. Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? Screw the rules. Well, obviously, the killer. Mmm, not necessarily. But we'll see. Yeah, probably. But we'll see. The killer. Is it? Is he one of us? Ooh, the song. Ooh. Ooh. Is it? Among Us, who is the one? Who killed Byakuya? <laughs> Enough already! <laughs> Show yourself, you coward! Ugh. If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a <laughs> murder in the first place! Very true. But I still can't believe it. Someone in this room killed Byakuya. There's no way I could believe that yet. Um, pardon me. Can I say something, please? No. What is it, Miss Sonia? <laughs> <laughs> I regret that I must return to this topic, but... I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. Hmm, what did you realize? If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? Uh, yes. I can see why you're suspicious of that, or why you're asking that. You're right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. My preliminary answer is that they can go against the wall, and they're already close to the table, and they can see the glow of the dark knife. So they could do that. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? What? If the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife? What? Then how did Byakuya- Oh yeah, right, 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 right. Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. Mm -hmm. Not just any mark. No, the, the killer definitely used the mark. And because of this mark, the killer was able to get the knife from under the table into his hands. Correct! It's the party dishes! It's <laughs> Byakuya! <laughs> the mark was Byakuya. <laughs> I see! I see! What if the glowing paint was the mark? With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. Mm -hmm. In actuality, the knife we found under the table... Actuality! And the duct tape stuck that. to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing Hodge paint. Does. Right? <laughs> does that mean... The killer painted them in advance? It's obviously Nagi, bro, because he had access to paint? the place. It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. Duh, mm -hmm. they set it up. They had to have already known. Of That's course. why they used the glowing paint as a mark. It's either Nagito or Nagito and someone else. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know if it's actually Nagito yet, but... Which means whoever set up the blackout is the killer. I mean, it's, it's hella pointing to him for the whole time, too, when I was, like, talking about the storage room. Like, he really didn't want us to, like, look at the storage room. You should clean your spoon against your cup more. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. Hmm. Who knows? That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. Which means it was you, Peko Peko Yama! Peko killed poor Byakuya? Jeez. Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? <laughs> That's kind of true. There's only her and her. Or him. Oh, not the killer. Oh, I guess she's not. <laughs> How can you believe her so easily? But with Peko's height... I don't think she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. Hmm. I, I don't care about a technicality like that. Pecco's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. Obviously not. By tripping the breaker directly from the office, Pecco was the one who caused the blackout. Is that really what happened? Oh, another one now. After this debate, blue-colored weak spots will start appearing. Recall the weak spots you've seen up until now are you spots. The blue-colored weak spots will be called agree spots. 
When shooting ugly spots with truth bullets, you need to flip your way of thinking. Makes sense? Instead of arguing that the other person's testimony contains lies or mistakes, please fire the truth bullets that prove the other person's testimony is correct. When your truth bullets merge with their weakness, it will become a logically sound agreement. Yep, so it's like the opposite of uh, what you've been doing. It's, uh, if, you, if you think what they're saying is true and you have the proof to back it up, then shoot that statement with the, right, with the okay. truth bullet. Okay. And so all the agree spots will be blue and all of the lies and contradictions will be yellow. Man, that's wild. <laughs> Isn't it a little hot in here? <laughs> From now on, you must infer whether it's best to argue or agree based on what's being debated. Yep. Oh, yikes. Oh, the song! <laughs> I think the account that I need is... But we're trying to prove Pe Peko's not the killer, right? Yeah. Since think... Peko was in the office... Let me check these accounts. She could have caused the blackout at any time! Could have caught. This That's is impossible. Blue, so I don't agree with that. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. Yeah. Not even before the blackout. Uh, what happened to your guard? Not in the office before the blackout. Sorry. Right? Right? I can I can agree with that. Oh, you weren't in the office? That's clearly a desperate excuse. Yeah, I can agree with that. And Chucky did mention, I think, that she left or something like that. And just from listening to Peckle's testimony, it's not weird to doubt her, but I feel like I spoke to someone during the investigation who totally backs up her testimony. Since Peckle was in the office... Yeah, I'm gonna go with Chucky's account. She could have caused a blackout at any time! For the second one. You can check your truth by the way. Yeah, I checked them. If you press F1. Oh, F1? Okay. Why is it possible? Because I was not in the office. <sighs> Not even before the blackout. Here we go! Oh, I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that you agree with me, but I feel like you're confusing me even more. Mm. Okay. Well, yikes. So what was Since Pekka was in the office... Oh my god. Man. She could have caused the blackout at any time! I don't know about this anymore. That's impossible. Check your truth bullets. Press uh, F1. What? Teruteru's, it's Nekomaru. I mean, I doubt it's. Pretty sure. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Oh. Could it be that she was in it the whole time? That's interesting. Wow, this whole time I didn't know who it, is, who it was, but I guess it could have been her. That's interesting. I'm sure you know by now, but I'm not I'm not gonna confirm or deny any of your uh, yeah, theories. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I'm just gonna let your thought process just kind of just kind of roll. Okay, I think what I was thinking about when she went outside was... No, yeah, I was wrong about that. I'm gonna go with Michael Madison. Because I was not or in the this one. Not even before the blackout. I agree with that. Yikes. So I completely forgot Ooh, about. You gave Pekko consent. <laughs> no, I think Pekko is telling the truth. That's interesting though. So she was in the bathroom the whole time then. So my assumption that whoever is okay, interesting. Mm hmm. Don't tell me you're crushing on <laughs> Pekko. No. It probably is. <laughs> <laughs> like that at all. Nekomaru's account is actually Peko's alibi. <laughs> I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started. And it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. Uh, then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Wow. <laughs> Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekka. Mmm, very true. I... What do you I mean, I guess I... Aw, <laughs> oh, yeah, she doesn't want to admit it, that's... <laughs> you locked yourself in the commode? Commode? <laughs> you just said so earlier! 
There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. True story. If she locked herself in the bathroom for that long, <laughs> no doubt. It's shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. Hey, <laughs> were you guys taught any basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? I bet he was. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Aww. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? Oh, poor pickle. Don't worry. The smell is the bathroom right after you, Yikes. so you can trust me. I said it's fine. Uh... <laughs> but still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? That's so funny because when we entered, I checked the bathroom and we couldn't enter it because he wasn't interested in it. But we could enter the office. And the thing is, when I, because of that, I automatically assumed the bathroom had been locked even before we arrived. Mm. So that's why I got kind of confused. As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom. Oh man, I would have been scared if it was like the black oh, company in the yeah. bathroom. Oh my goodness. That'd be freaky. How did it feel? <laughs> did you oh my god. Just excited. It's just sexual. Seriously. Stop it. Nice, Hachime. <laughs> Not cool, Hachime. But still. Not cool, okay, okay. <laughs> Was that really just a coincidence? A valid question. And also my question. Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. Whoa, Mahiro, chill. Chill. We gotta do investigation. <sighs> I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out Oof. of your element. Oof. Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? That's interesting because... Okay, yeah, sure, it's possible. Laxatives? Mm. If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I see. That might have happened. Wait. He said the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office. That's interesting. I don't think so. I think... I don't think they physically did it. I think it was all planned beforehand because of the AC and because of the ironing boards. Anyways, or the irony. The question is whether Pickle's stomach ache was a coincidence or if someone intentionally caused it. So we gotta focus on this. And depending on the answer, the outcome of this trial could change drastically. What are my bullets? I have AC timer, I have vision goggles, and a very simple as party this. I'm gonna go with that. Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. <laughs> Look at Teddy Teddy. Now that you mention it, you brought food to the office, right? She did. Just a little bit from the dining hall. She did. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? I agree. Tarotaro cooked the food, how suspicious! <laughs> I wouldn't do anything like that! I agree with that, actually. But that's the... Laxatives would ruin the taste! Ruin the taste. Ruin the taste. Yeah, I agree with him for that. But why is that a weak point? Ruin the taste. Whether pickle stomach ache was a coincidence or someone intentionally caused it. Well, the thing is, we gotta counter something, right? <laughs> Were there any agree spots? There were no blue spots, they were all yellow. Hmm. So then you have to refute something. There's nothing yeah. to agree with. So my true bullets were... I doubt the AC timer. <laughs> Laxative's enhanced taste. If I were to use this as a truth bullet, why would I counter laxatives? That would be kind of weird. And the second thing was... Um, uh, laxatives enhance the taste. <laughs> what? Why would I refute that? 
<laughs> what happens if I go through this run without pressing any or going choosing any? Nothing. Oh, it will keep on repl replaying. Yeah, it keeps repeating. Did you eat anything time time weird? Oh. I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it, look for a different weak spot. You brought food to the office, right? There are only two. Just a little bit from the dining hall. The first one and the second. This there might the have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? It's just suspicious. one word, that's why it's so good. I wouldn't do anything like that! I agree with that. Laxatives would ruin the taste! Would ruin the taste. Why would I click ruin the taste? Read read the truth read the uh truth book description again? For the party digits? Yeah. It just says that Akane and Echo ate it, so Okay. Poured his heart and soul into cooking various party dishes. Poured his heart and soul into cooking various party dishes. Ah, but only two people ate it. Ah, okay, I see you. Okay. That is a weird way to. S oh. Did you eat anything? Mm -hmm. weird? Oh no, that doesn't really. I don't remember eating anything weird. No. Okay, so hold on. Can we pause it? It. Press escape. No, I'll just do this. So. No, maybe not. No, oh, okay. I think it's a counter to laxatives. I think it's a counter to laxatives. Because if it would if it would ruin the taste, people. Ah, oh, that's so weird though. Okay, look at it this way. So if they're assuming that there are laxatives in it, and that's why Pekka went to the bathroom, correct? Then Akane. What about Akane? True. There's two people who ate it, that's true. Okay, so it could be that it's not related to this. You brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Yeah, I'll click that one, I think. Turo Turo cooked the food, how suspicious! <laughs> uh, I wouldn't do anything like that! Laxatives would ruin the taste! Okay. Let's go through. And Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it... You brought food to the office, right? It's pretty absurd. <laughs> Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? No, that's wrong! Okay, thank you, Kevin. <laughs> I'll drop hints now and then if you're, like, super no. stunned. It's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. Akane ate some of it too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. That's the thing though, Akane is like a... tastes like a steel stomach. I feel totally fine! <laughs> like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. I apologize for causing a scene. Blue <laughs> Nico should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. What the fuck did you Oof. say, bitch? Oof. Is this bickering? Ooh. Let's just dismiss Pekka's stomach ache as a coincidence and go back to discussing the blackout. Yeah, yeah. We already know that. Oh my trash god! Is you don't have to tell us. Oof, my goodness. Trashy skank. <laughs> Look at Monokuma. As long as some murder happened during the blackout, then the blackout itself is actually what's important. Is what's actually important. Look at Yoko. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to make it clear how that blackout occurred. I believe the irons will be important for this. Who tripped the breaker and how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head! <laughs> <laughs> did they throw a stone at uh, it? it's agreement, no. Maybe they used a remote control? No. Maybe. They probably messed with the breaker. No, maybe. It does not have to be the breaker. Exactly. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. I believe so. Or yes. maybe they caused a power surge? Or that. 
That sounds right. I bet it's really Monokuma's fault. <laughs> By the way, I'm not a trashy skank! Oh. <laughs> well, that's clearly to distract you. How did the killer trip the circuit breaker? I'm pretty sure I already have that. Uh, the it's and either how do do the power surge or the other one. If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you! Did they throw us? Maybe they used a remote? They probably messed with the breaker. No. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitter. <laughs> Slow-mo sounds weird. I don't think it's power. Or maybe supply. they caused a power surge? I think it's that. I agree with that. Wow, I gave my hero. Because my hero's a culprit. <laughs> <laughs> she knows so everything. Everyone I, what I agree the with did. was caused by a power <laughs> surge. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally. Oh snap, the way he said that. Which is Ooh. why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. <laughs> when you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on. <laughs> <Big trivia. laughs> so by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Correct the window. Yeah, it seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. <laughs> Stupid fool! Whoa, bro, calm Ooh. yourself. I didn't expect Nekomaru to do to do Hold on a second, let me speak too! Okay. Oh, I guess I have to do the WASD. You yeah. say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable! <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm gonna go with AC timer this time. If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout, then for the killer to turn the irons on... You're saying they went all the way to the storage room? Uh -huh. That means everyone who was in the dining when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. I got you. No, just because people were in the dining hall... ...doesn't mean they're not a suspect. Exactly. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to... If the irons caused the blackout... Oh, there. Then the killer had to go to the storage the room before that... Turn on the iron! Now do you intend to take back what you said? It's true that the irons are responsible for the blackout, but that shouldn't be the only reason. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the the irons caused the blackout. There you go. Those words. Got it. Ooh! So cool, Hajime! So cool. The Kakui. irons are just one reason the blackout occurred, but they weren't the direct trigger. Trigger. Direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. This hair reminds me of lightning. Oh. Air conditioners! <laughs> <laughs> Timers for both air conditioners. <laughs> Every time he talks, it's always so intense. 11 30 p.m. Mr. Ham Ham's oh. died around that time, too. I'm serving, Kyoko. Mm -hmm. I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. What if it was Hyoko this whole time? She's pretty short. <laughs> she was like unnoticed when she was trying to get the knife. I see! I understand! Indubitably! I don't know where her position was though. I think Nagito was next to the table next to Byakuya's death. Indubitably? <laughs> they probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance. I wonder who could do that! To nearly max it out. Nagi bro. Once they set the air conditioner's timer, I guess anyone could have entered. They just had to wait until they started up on their own. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout indubitably. <laughs> She's using it. Oh. Indubitably? Oh. Uh -huh. Miss Sonia, not you too. Sus. Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Ooh, Monokuma knows. Is she right? Such a hate oh. You deserve to die a thousand deaths. I agree, Monokuma. A thousand, you say? If I die wow. that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? Okay. Shut up! Ooh, you got damn. to stay quiet! <laughs> Jeez. I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. But even so, I feel regret. Oh, poor Pickle. How could they have known that Pekka would be out of- I mean, okay, I guess it doesn't really matter if she was in or not. Because it would have happened anyway. If I was in the office, mm, I could have well, reset the breaker in time. And she? Maybe the murder wouldn't have occurred. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, that's why it stopped, right? Um, so Kazuhito, right? He, he reset it, right? 
Mm. Or maybe it was... He said he didn't... He said he wasn't the one who turned the breaker back on. Or mm. he wasn't the one who turned the power back on. Mm, okay, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Coincidentally, Peko left when the blackout ended. Interesting. Well, let's see. No. The breaker in the office was built into a and high true, area of the wall really that's impossible to reach. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible, no matter what. But something else could stop it. Is it Teru Teru's account? Interesting. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Hmm. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. It's all right. You don't Whoa, Nagito's so calm. Because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. What? That's a very interesting phrase. That's like the first time I've heard something like that from him. Yeah. Even he noticed something, huh? There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. Wait a second. In the end, hope always <laughs> wins. That's what I believe. We're getting something. Nagito? Yep. What happened to you? Something switched. I don't know what. Huh? What do you mean? Well, you have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Ooh. Hey, you. Huh. Is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk <laughs> about the incident. Minor detail. I know, right? The mood has changed a lot. But I immediately recognized it right when he said that. Nothing like Petty Killer has been said from him ever. Nor has symbols of hope and defeating. Nothing like that has been revealed. He hasn't even talked about hope in general. For now, we don't the song know goes back to normal. The blackout occurred. I, mean, I think it, I thought he mentioned hope at least who once. caused it. I right? don't know. I mean, there's a lot of dialogue. It could be yeah. <laughs> Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Hmm. I see. China? Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. That's a huge fallacy. What are you implying? We'll see actually though. He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? No. Oh. Fortunately, it's the truth. <laughs> one of me. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. I don't know. But that might be because there's no way any of us could be a killer. I don't you, know. You're changing your story. <laughs> yeah. <please? laughs> anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Just kill ourselves. <laughs> Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Mm -hmm. Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to keep believing in others? What? Wait, uh, what? That changed. Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? Surviving by doubting others because we're trying to figure out who the killer is. And he's saying instead of that, we should believe in others and get killed because we believe. Doesn't that mean? Yeah, that is actually what I said. <laughs> we should all just die. Up and die? That is what I said before. That's kind of funny. Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. <laughs> we should all just die. <laughs> you guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. Situations of despair brings out the truth. each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. <laughs> Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. I mean... I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. No, I mean... But now he's trying to I play the... I don't want to do the, this either. The... 
the victim now? He's trying to do a victim thing? Me too! Please! And now he's trying to make everyone freak out too? Nahito, you smooth, Stop man. It. If everyone acts like this, I I'm gonna Nahito smooth. Everyone calm down. We're all friends, aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Mm. Then why did Byakuya die? Correct. Who cares? What? Let's just give up already. <laughs> Let's put that minor detail aside. <laughs> No clues that lead to the killer, anyway. I don't know, Nagito. You don't have an alibi for when you're there preparing. Oh, Chiaki is the one who is. Hey, hey. I think. <laughs> I think. Oof, oof, oof. He's quiet. He's quiet. Did you say something? Oh. <laughs> Guys, we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. Oh, is this new? This might be new. You know who the killer is? I believe this might have a relationship to. Since Chucky was outside and she was searching with Gundam, I believe it might be related to that. We'll see. The killer? I don't know. But we do have oh, a clue about a suspicious person. Oh, I know it's such a cute hoodie. Then care to tell me, what's this clue you're talking about? First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. Right. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. No, not that. <laughs> exactly. Even before that. Exactly, before that. Before. They have to set it up. And that means yet you have to have been there before, Byakuya. Is she asking how the killer got close to that table? Even if they had to obtain the knife by relying on the glow from the paint, in order to do that, they needed to get close to that table. Oh, okay, so it's that. It's actually this. They needed to get close to that table while it was still dark. So it's like positioning. Right, so this is kind of what I was like, talking about before. When someone Let's had to be close enough to the situation. table. Yep, My here's the diagram. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here I'm it is! I'm pretty sure Nagito's the closest. I remember that. Yep. I saw that clearly when I... Last time. Just as I thought, this diagram is the clue. Who the killer is and how they're able to move to the table in the dark. Mm-hmm. That's clearly shown in this diagram. And the lamp, which could trigger it. First, we need to discuss how the killer was able to move to that table in the dark. The killer probably used something to help them move in the dark. Uh, uh, something to help them move into the dark. I'm so confused. I'm gonna say the glow in the dark thing. Oh, okay, I guess not. So, oh, the tablecloth? Crap! <laughs> <laughs> guess that's not what the killer used to move in the dark. What could they have used to move in the dark with? I'm so confused. Ah, the floor? You need a you need a guide, right? To move in the dark? A guide? You need like some here, pause it. You have 13 seconds. Oh, you can pause it. So when you're in the dark, you need you need something to help guide you while you're walking around, right? Like what did Kazuichi use to guide him to the break room? Or to the, the wall. The wall, right? Okay, if these things. No. Where can I press the wall though? Can I the Wait, wall? was there something was there something else that leads to the table? Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it was the wire. You must have used the desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. So these okay, well that was actually outside of what I expected. That's interesting. It does make sense though. That does make a lot of sense. The desk lamp? I <laughs> hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. There was a blackout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. Of course, there's no way to use a desk lamp light. The killer actually used the power cord. 
the weight. I can prove it with this. Ah, I'm so sorry. They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. Power cord? They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table, then use the glowing paint to find the knife. Mm-hmm. The only person here who could have possibly done it. Oh baby! Are we already at the end? Well, we're gonna have to put it into a full story soon. Obviously Mikan. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously Gyakia. Yaki yeah, killed himself with You're the night vision goggles. He stabbed himself one. with the night vision goggles. Naruto. It was you, wasn't it? Oh snap. Me? Time to get your true nature Judging and I get everyone's going. positions before the blackout. The only person near the power cord was you. And uh, yep. Which means the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was Nagito! That's just a coincidence! <laughs> but still, you had a chance, right? A chance to hide the knife under the table? Yo, Chucky's so observant, though. Nagato's chance to hide the knife under the table was... Hide before... Yeah, when he was cleaning. I see! Which is what I assumed the whole time. <laughs> Weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? If so, you would have had a chance to hide the knife. <laughs> Hiyoko. That's... If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning, mm -hmm. you're the only one who could have done it. He could set it up. Seriously! That's all just a coincidence! If it was just one coincidence, it'd be yep. fine. But when it's one right after another... I wonder... Mm. Is something like that even possible? Could it be? Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? He was in charge of that. Now that you mention it, Nagito mm -hmm. did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. Yep. And I don't believe that was out of luck. That was purpose. To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. Mm hmm. Assume something like this would happen. To go to the trouble of preparing this, just what did, you, what did you think would happen? Whoever draws a chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? And he's the person, what is that thing? Ultimate lucky student, so it can pass it off as normal. You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? I don't know if you're the killer or not. But, regardless, it proves that you're suspicious, right? Oh. If that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan, too. Yep, when he thought he was able to escape. But let's see, is it still really him? You I believe it is, though. Thought, and tried to hide the fact that you did it, didn't you, you motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> well, just admit it already! Nagito, tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. If he objects, does it happen that the killer gets away? Like, what if he was actually not the killer? <laughs> I mean, obviously it will never happen, but I, I'm curious. <laughs> we investigated together. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed Byakuya. <laughs> that sounds like a laugh now. Nagito, say something! Oh, snap. Yep, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, snap. He was laughing. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> oh, what a great laugh. That is really good. <laughs> and Maggie Bro no longer a bro. The ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death. Ah, how wonderful! How beautiful it is! Dude, those huh? eyes. <laughs> Achieve me. 
Those eyes. Oh my god, yeah, those eyes. <laughs> that moment, Nagito's eyes. The darkness in his eyes shone brightly, as if layers upon layers of darkness were folding into each other. Oh my god. So good. Oh my god. Ooh, as if hope and despair had been crudely mixed together. I like it. Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. Ooh. Yikes. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. Let's get this party started. Hmm. <laughs> I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. <laughs> And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone, right? Uh, is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? <sighs> but I never expected Byakuya to have night vision goggles. Uh -huh. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table, and, well, you all saw how that played out. Hmm. Yeah, makes sense then, I guess, then it could be the blood could splatter. But with a twist ending like this, yeah. I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. Yakuya performed admirably. Hmm. Just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? Don't tell me. Is this your true nature? Were hmm. you lying to us this entire time? Hmm. Me? Lie? That's outrageous! <laughs> There's no way someone like me could ever lie to you guys. Hmm? I understand better than anyone else that I'm ultimately worthless. Whoa. <laughs> I'm too arrogant to have dreams Aww. or cling to hope. Too disdainful to actually try at anything. He sounds like ultimate despair. The fact that I'm a lowly, stupid, insignificant human who ultimate can't do depressed. anything right. Ultimate depressed. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets. He seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching all the Just like me. Oh my god. Just like me. Oh my god. That doesn't help you, girl. That's quite the hobby you have there. But like. Now's not really the time to bring it up. This guy, is he? Is he the real Nagito? Hmm. Hey, Nagito. If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep, I sure did. I mean, he also did bring up that we should look at his place. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at. Right. <laughs> so, so it is handwriting. But why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? I yeah. think somewhere deep in my heart, I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. That's interesting. Yeah. See, here's a perfect sentence of hope. And despair, hoping to find someone who would stop my evil despair deeds. That's very interesting. Well, I bet if that really was my reason, at least some of you. Oh, if that so really was my reason. Are you making fun of us? By threatening Yakuya, Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. Hmm. Then, how about that old looking building here in the hotel? Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. I mean, I was suspicious even from this place. <laughs> in doing so, <laughs> and that is not in retrospect. I was, I had that reality. inkling in my my heart. I, I swear. <laughs> that reminds me, Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. Oh, I don't remember that. That's interesting. See, the stores are okay. Well, doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, he clearly doesn't didn't want anyone to look at the storage room, or like. Eh, 
that you went in there. If you stayed in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health. In that case, why don't you guard the case in the office? Oh, I get it. If Paco was guarding the storage room, Nagito exactly. wouldn't have been able to use the irons. Well, it was already on though. The threatening letter, <laughs> Whatever. along with all your suggestions, it was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep, that's true too. Hmm. But you're wrong about one thing. What is it? Uh, huh? What? I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? Rig the- Oh! Haha! <laughs> it is actually part of him! Haha! <laughs> because he is the ultimate lucky. That's if that's true, <laughs> then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. That's funny. Well, there's Ooh. no way I'd expect you to remember it. Worthless Aww. talent for a worthless human. He knew. <laughs> that okay, so it still ends up being his talent. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Ultimate baby face. <laughs> what if it's actually unlucky suited? I see. You're the ultimate lucky student. Then, did you? It's kind of ironic, because in this case, is he unlucky or is he still lucky? Would he luckily survive? <gasps> the amazing thing is that we were the lucky student in the last game. We were able to escape death. Would he be able to be lucky enough to escape death too? Oh, -ho! our ultimate enemy could be here. That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. That's intriguing. You just relied on your luck? Oh my god, this is like the worst opponent in this kind of thing. It's not just luck. It's true my it's talent true sucks. It's true my talent sucks. But I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? Oh my god. I didn't think about that when this game started. Huh? I'm left with the red mark? Haha. <laughs> For someone called the ultimate lucky student. You don't seem to be very lucky right now. Hmm. <laughs> At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky. Mm -hmm. But it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for Ooh, cleaning duty. Those eyes again. Just like I wanted. Damn. Enough. That. I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! I mean, because he knew he was about to kill someone. Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like Ooh, him to despair. get killed. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. Interesting. That was my only motivation. Huh. Use his death as... You're not making any sense! Yeah. Fine. Let's start the damn vote already. We're ready to fucking kill this psycho. Please! Monokuma! Please! Wait! What? Huh? The fuck? Oh my god, we can. Uh, um, 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 Unless this whole time. How should I put this? Um, oh my god, is if? Oh my god, I don't even know what's gonna happen anymore. I freaking knew it. He's gonna. Oh my god. Um, what are you saying? He's already confessed, hasn't he? he could, oh my god. <sighs> You know, it's true, if we get him wrong, if we get the true killer wrong, we would all die actually. So he could actually be trying to be the bait. So that the real killer could escape. That's interesting. Or he could just be lucky at this point. Which is, you know, he's the lucky, ultimate lucky student. I, I already know that, but There's so many ifs. Uh, uh. There's just something a little strange. Tell me, Mika. If it's only a little, then keep your mouth <laughs> shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me want to puke. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Mika. Um, for now, might I suggest you <laughs> listen to what she has to say? But we know who the killer is. That's what you think. Simply listening is 
acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> I won't allow this to end with mere play. Ooh. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. Jeez. White noise. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. From this point on, yeah. lines of white noise will appear to disrupt reactions. Your truth bullets will disappear if they touch these lines, so think of them as obstacles in your debate. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Please time your truth bullets just right so they won't get interrupted by the white noise. By the way, if the difficulty is set to gentle, white noise won't appear at all. In that case, all it needs is this explanation didn't mean anything at all. It had no meaning whatsoever. <laughs> oh, please don't worry, I'm not going to fall into despair. <laughs> Even though it's meaningless, allow me to say one more thing. In this debate, you won't be able to shoot down the white noise. That will be explained later. Press the start button. Okay. So there's going to be a bunch of white noise, but I still need to focus on the weak points, right? And there's yep. still going to be the agreement points too, right? Yep, there will be both. Yikes. This is going to be hard. So for this, for this particular debate, you won't be able to shoot them down. So you just have to work around them. Shoot what down? You mean the, the, the white, white noise? noise? Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, I think it's strange that yeah, the killer is so obviously Nagito! <laughs> I knew it. Um, he has already confessed. There's no reason to deny it. Um, you know... <laughs> <laughs> that bastard Nagito is the one who did it! Oh my god. He killed Biakio with a knife he hit! Yeah, oh. that's why I was suspicious of the fine little the whole Thank time. You, wow, rude! Then let's prepare to cast our goats. Yeah, I would feel like it's the knife, the weapon. Why does Nikon think it's strange? Because she must know something that contradicts the crime scene. Yep. Uh, I think it's strange that the killer was so obviously Nagito. So these are like my thoughts. Um. Sometimes, sometimes it's other, other, he has already mm -hmm. other random people, or other people saying random stuff. Um, you know... That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Biakio with a knife he hit. I think it's that. No, that's wrong. Ooh. 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 That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what exactly. you wanted to say. Exactly. I wonder if my suspicions are actually correct then. We'll see. What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. Why are you so convinced, huh, bro? But based on the entry wounds on Yakuya's body, that's why I was looking should at be the measurement. Five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife! Is it? Oh, diameter. Diameter? Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse! <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> oh my god! Not a whorehouse! Oh. <laughs> hey, why are you threatening her? Exactly, Freakle. Well, no one was suspicious about him, but now it's becoming apparent something else is. Is this what you're trying truth. to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer. It has to be you. I don't think hey, so. Hey, don't blame me. Mikon's the one who said it. <laughs> sorry. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hey Nagito, are you still hiding something? Interesting. Uh, hiding? Interesting. Like, during the blackout, did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Interesting. Something is developing. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> After all this, what else do you intend Just to Just wants hide? to make this exciting. Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off! Oh. What happened during the blackout? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh! If you cross your eyes like this, <laughs> it gives you double vision! Oh, best girl. Don't get distracted! Our lives are at stake, you know? Huh? 
Whose life is at stake? <laughs> oh my. Wait, stake? Seriously, how long is it gonna take for you to understand the damn rules? Nobody can see in the dark. No matter how hard you think about it, the truth is beyond your sight. Nobody can see in the dark. No matter how hard you think about it, the truth is beyond your sight. Beyond your sight. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite <laughs> the fact that it came from me? That is a crazy hint that I don't understand. <laughs> the truth is beyond your sight. It beyond my sight! No, that's not it. I get it now. Not it? What's not it? Yeah. Or, well, we'll see. <laughs> this should be no, so. Okay. He said no. But in my opinion, <laughs> it should be the gaps in the floorboard. But there's so many things! What the heck? And there's time! Press tab? Some way to find out what happened. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I can prove it with this. Thank you. <laughs> Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, I'm pretty sure someone could have heard it. Isn't that right, Ibuki? For real? <laughs> Best girl, don't act so surprised. You were the one who told me, remember? How everyone was shouting during the blackout? Uh, everyone, calm down! Oh, no. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah, don't step on my feet! Hmm. What the hell? What's going on here? <laughs> this, this is... Already he noticed something. Ow! Ow? Nagito said ow? Interesting. Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! Did it happen someone else actually going You there? guys? No. Where are you? W oh, wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. <laughs> do something about it. I am so confuzzled. <laughs> Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. Oh my god. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, <laughs> style, figure, and personality Ooh. totally suck. Hey, I like all those, so suck it. <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth. <laughs> Ooh. How do you even spit that? <laughs> Don't worry about it. However, you have to be the ultimate musician. After <laughs> hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark. Ow. And this is... What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! I don't feel like... That's interesting for me to say, ow. Could he have stepped on something sharp? It almost sounds like... Byakuya fought back against Nagito or something. Hmm. Ah, I see what she's saying. So actually they had a small fight and Nagito actually lost. It's just kind of funny. <laughs> well, that's actually what happened. <laughs> As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. Hmm. Okay. He shoved you out? Yeah, I can see that happening. And then... Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under <laughs> the table. He did say he was he was not expecting Byakuya to have night vision goggles. That's right. I'm so that I couldn't even grab the knife. <laughs> so Byakuya stopped when he was trying to get the knife. And he got shoved out from under the table before he could even grab it. Is it free, Iko? Well, it sounds plausible. I mean, just from listening to what they both said at the same at the time. What the hell? What's going on here? <laughs> this, this is. This is. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I 
I could interpret it like that. No, actually. Now that I think about it, that sounds like exactly what happened. After getting shoved out from under the table, I was just as confused <laughs> as you guys. What the darkness? I lost sight of the glowing paint. I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on, and Byakuya's body was lying under the table. Hmm. Hold on! Are you saying you're not the killer? From the very beginning, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the Dang, blackout, that's so funny. <laughs> it was all going according to plan. It's okay, you're lucky enough to not be the killer, that's the thing. But unfortunately, <laughs> my plan failed. And all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. Uh, hence why he said we should just all die, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Uh, what happened after that? Even I don't know. Meh. You failed? The then we're right back to square one! Not necessarily. How can that be? We spent all this time talking back and forth! <laughs> what other word is brimming with so much despair? Oh man. But you can't give up. <laughs> you need to have hope. Do your best and move forward. Ah, uh, that's he's a pretty good character. I Rising like to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. Oh man. Haji <laughs> was like, what the fuck? <laughs> is Nagito really not the killer? Is this guy really the Nagito I knew before? No, there's no way I can say that. I just thought I knew him, but this whole time, I didn't know anything about this guy. I didn't know his true character. The simple as that. But now's not the time for me to dwell on that. We need to find Hyakuya's killer by any means possible. Because if we don't, we... We will die here. Correct. Is this the first half? Dun 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 on the next episode. Oh. Well now. Well. Hey, we'll give you a chance to save it, so if you want to go until the save point, you can do this part. Okay. Now then, the class trial has reached its climax, but Okay, here's a question for you. Uh, what's this? To those of you who figured out who it is, how about you try out Guess the Killer Challenge? What? Huh? Good night, Arda. Have a good, good night. night. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Whoever fails to guess the right killer will have to say data melt away like butter. Uh -oh. If you guess right, I'll reward you with ten billion dollars. Ten billion? Of course. For those of you who don't know who the killer is, you can just continue on. Now then, what are you gonna do? Doesn't matter if I get it wrong. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Just kidding! You can't make a choice! There's no way you'd be able to guess who the killer is! <laughs> and of course, there's no 10 billion dollars either! <laughs> Troll. You're so evil! <laughs> Villain! You truly are a villain! Well, all right, guys. I guess we'll pause it here. Is it gonna go back to the menu? Uh, from here, no. It's gonna go on to the next scene if you save your. But you can just quit after you save. Okie dokie. So we're gonna stop with this then. Yep. So that's the first half of the first trial. A very wild first half. <laughs> I know. Oh man, this. Wait. Oh. Wait. How do I get F one? F one? No, I can't. You can do. It. I believe in you. I can't. You okay, can't have one. There you go. <laughs> Cute. Nice song. All right. So yeah, we're gonna end today without finding who the killer is. Sadly. But we'll find them next time. Mm-hmm. Ooh, man. And what what is what what does Nagito know? What does he know? Yes, a cliffhanger, which means you gotta come back next time. Dun dun. 
I don't know when I can do it next time. Possibly even on this weekend. Well, j you can let me and uh, Victor know in advance, and we'll let you know if we can do it. I I can definitely do it pretty much any time. I don't have any uh, I don't have any plans for you. So for sure, regularly on Monday and Wednesday, I'll put it in the chat um, at 12 a.m. That's like something I want to guarantee for this. Um, occasionally, I will do other streams other day. Or, uh, I will stream this another day. Um, yeah. I don't have any social media, unfortunately, so you guys are gonna have to keep a lookout for... Hit that, uh, hit that bell! Yes, the please. <laughs> hit that notification bell. <laughs> Smash that follow button and that subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, comment, and subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, thanks a lot for coming. We'll see you guys next time. It's gonna be very exciting. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Ooh. We already found Nagito's part of his true nature. I don't even know if that's entirely his true nature. We don't even know anything about him. We don't know anything <laughs> about any character, so we're gonna find it all. Little by little. Even the true nature of myself in this game, of Hajime. Ooh. We don't know that either. Ooh, mysteries. Yep. Okay. Good night, everyone. Good night. I'm gonna end it here. Good night. Bye bye.